Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. Back on MTGO with a super crappy hand. We're gonna mulligan, holy cow. Uh, why are things not loading? Okay, that was weird. But this is much, much, much more keepable. So we shall keep it. Couple journeys, we'll probably toss the blossoming sands. Mm -mm -mm. Wait for Burnwalker to see what he's doing. And we'll get this going. Played it into sinew, into journey, journey, journey. Swing, swing, swing. We are keeping. We are discarding. We are saying done. We are playing. We are playing. We are passing. There we go. Uh oh. We up against burn? This is a crappy hand if it's burn. I guess it makes sense since his name is Burnwalker. Okay, holding it up. That's not very nice. Uh, we might lose this lord. You gonna, you gonna bolt uh, my lord? Or are you gonna go for my face? Looks like might go for my face? Oh no, he's going to his turn. Alright, I don't know what he's doing now. Guess we'll find out. There's the bolt. Why didn't you play that last turn? That was silly. Interesting. Well, maybe they have an awkward hand. They didn't mulligan, though. So this is Boros. Alright, so we could be up against uh, some Boros grads, something like that. Boros aggro. Who knows? Uh, let's just put down our other lords, see what happens, I guess. Swing in for another two. I kind of need to draw a winding way to make me happy really refill our hand here. The journeys are nice, but in this matchup it just might not be nice enough. Mm -mm. I'll take some protection too. Draw a couple vines, I'd be happy with that. Are you scared of my board, or are you scared of me? Burn me, burn my board. What are you going to do? Ah, Krenko. Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. Quip one. Okay. Drop a sidewinder. Make their tox, uh, tox, a tox. Make their uh, blocks very bad. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what they do here. Going straight to the attack. I feel like they're missing steps here. Might have been more beneficial for me to play the plated. Just to get out of range of lightning bolt. Didn't really think of it that way. Ah, well. Mm -mm. Okay, sure. And another... Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're gonna get these... Always yield. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. 
Nice thing is we can still attack into these very cleanly. All right, well, now we're just going to play the Lord. Flanking about to do work for us here. Well, we're getting the right draws, which is nice. They got the work cut out for them. Okay, sure. So weird, uh, life gain, pingy thing. If you have five or less life, create five of those tokens instead. Okay, well, good for you. Wow. It's going to be a lot of triggers, for sure. So this is like a token deck. There's a name for it. I forget. It could just be tokens, popper tokens type thing. I believe it has another name, though. Well, they're going to have to make a saving block here on their next turn. We will yield to all that crap. All that's getting yielded to. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I think we'll just take the, the priest off the battlefield with journey instead of casting uh, something here. I think this is beneficial just in case they can go off next turn and just kill us for a ton where we'll take away one of their sources of life gain. And again, we can just swing in here with our nice flanking guy and not worry about it. All right, I'm just gonna block two. They'll take six, go to four, which means they probably have another one of these gather the townsfolk. Looks like they're counting it out for that to be the possibility. Uh, looks like electricery will be, oh, we don't have electricery. I was thinking gruel. Well, if we were playing gruel, electricery trickery would just decimate this deck. But flanking also does its work too. So. Ooh. We got some Alan Watts going on over the, the beats right now? Interesting. I don't know what you guys can do here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, can you finish me like this? Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that sucks. Dang. It's good to know. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Wrecked. Ah, uh, looks like this will be good to take out their enchantment thing. Hmm. I guess an armadillo cloak isn't half bad either. We'll cut a spinneret. Sentinel. 
Hmm, got shot not extremely relevant. We could throw one in there, just a one of maybe. We'll see. Cut one journey, and in a gut shot. Sure. Sure, we'll try it. We will play first. Ah, uh, what is this hand? What is this hand? It's a bit awkward. I think we can keep it. It is just a little awkward. Not a huge fan of what's going on here. We got one creature, but we have a winding way, which is good. We got all our other tools. We got some protection. We've got an armadillo cloak. We got a gut shot. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're holding it up, which is not ideal for what I would like to see, which means our Sentinel might be dead. Hopefully they don't lightning bolt it. It'd be nice to keep this alive. And that's going down, okay. Hmm. Well, let's just put down the sidewinder and we'll hold up protection on our sentinel. And then we'll winding way next turn. Centennial Sliver. With the flanking and the fun and the flanking and the vigilance. That'll happen. Bang, bang. Yield again to these. Predator. Hmm. I guess it's worth to put down now before they start putting out stuff that'll hurt us when we start playing creatures. Too bad we can't hold the protection this turn, but even if they kill off the predatory, it's not the end of the world. Against this deck, we still have a decent board. We'll still have Armadillo Cloak to toss on the Sentinel if we get another land. Let's see if we both get stuck on two lands. Okay. Tap, tap, and on the tap creature you control. Add one mana of any color. 
Fair enough. They're tapping two white. So what do they got? A journey? Gonna go for some removal here. Or are you gonna play something else? They had that other token creating thing. Uh, it didn't cost two mana though. Ah, they have the priest. Well, that is fine by me. Take that out right now. Took a couple damage from it, but I think it's worth it in the end. Alright, cool. So, let's throw down an armadillo cloak. I guess on, uh... Our predatory? Protect our predatory? Sure. Now that's a good board. I like it. I'd rather have it on the predatory for extra protection on him. And uh, we won't gain five life. We'll only gain four for now. But uh, I think it's a better choice. As long as we're gaining some life a turn. And we're hitting them for quite a bit. Now they can play that townsfolk spell if they want to. Hit us for a little bit, but we're still in a really good position. Alright, good. Game three. I think I like what I had. <sighs> the only other thing is I could like drop another Benevolent, maybe. Put in something else. Bring back one of the journeys, but uh, this is fine. Alright, we just gotta be fast. Flanking coming in clutch. If we can have another flanking in our board again, it should be pretty nice. Oh. This is a beautiful hand if we had one more land. And if this was a forest, we can't keep this though. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. We'll keep this, but it is bad. It's not great. We're on the we're on the draw though. So we got another shot at a second land here, but we've got a couple one drops we can play and a gut shot just in case the priest comes down again. That's what we're always gonna be targeting with the priest, so we'll drop one of these sidewinders. Um which means we can still attack in for a few turns with them, even if they put down some one-one goblins. But still not ideal. Let's see, they mulligan to six, we will keep, we will drop, we'll say done. So we both mulliganed, we'll see how this goes for us, hopefully I don't get mana screwed. Muscle's fine, but I really could use a land. Alright, playing it tapped. Bit awkward on his uh, his mana too. Just give me a land here. Ugh, that's not what I want to see. Let's uh, attack first. Play another one. Do not like this. I don't think we should have tossed this hand back, though. I mean, we had a couple plays. We're just really desperate for a uh, a land here. That's fine. They take out one of my flankings. If they were smart, they would take out this one, too, on their turn. Or on mine. But they should take it out. Oh, nice. Playing with the new Eldrain card. 
nice defender against my slivers. Put the Silk Hood Steep back in their hand, maybe? So they can cycle it away. Yep, nice. I can dig it. Alright. Hmm. Give me a land, please. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, we could attack in here and then, like, gut shot it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth that, though. Uh, so we'll just wait a turn. Hmm, journey. Okay. If you were smart, you would take my Sidewinder. Well, for a mulligan, they had a decent hand. Shaping up pretty well for him. Oh, a Seeker. Ooh. Ugh. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. We got Armadillo Cloak. We're just going to start setting up for... Swinging in with a bigger creature next turn. Should have done that last turn, honestly. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Seeker of the way. I'm guessing they sideboarded that in. They just transferred their deck into a uh, heroic deck. All right, their their mana is set now. That's for sure. Okay. If they attack in with the Seeker, and they've got no other spells to play this turn, I'll definitely block and gutshot it. Should have done that during combat though. What you got? You gonna do something else? Okay, hopefully they don't have another instant. Okay, good. I should do this mid-combat just in case they got something they can play as a sorcery. Cross my fingers. Nice. Alright, we got rid of a big problem. That's good. And a journey. Uh, not bad. Not bad. We could journey the drawbridge. Uh, 
Do we set up the board first? Say let's set up a board first. Pass. Oh man, another journey. That sucks. They're down to one card in hand. We can take over the game with Armadillo Cloak still. Oh, he's on the attack. Here we go. Well, we'll take the two. Passing. All right. Winding way. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, we have a way to refill our hand, which is nice. Attacking, which means they probably have their buff, and they'll play it if we block, so I'm not going to block. Good to know what they have in their hand, though. Give me a land here. If we have a land, pop it on Armadillo Cloak. Pop on an Armadillo Cloak. Mm, not what I want here. What do we go for? Do we go for a journey on this drawbridge so we can start attacking back? And start refilling our hand? I really want to start attacking in. Hmm. Let's go for it. We'll get this out of the way. Let's start attacking in. And then we can start really f refilling our hand. I don't want to use a winding way for land in this position. Not with uh, the amount of creatures we have. If we had plenty of creatures, I would go for the land 100%. But I would rather just top deck a land so we can get Armadillo Cloak going. We can at least play all our creatures with the mana we have. Okay, creating more tokens. Not worried about the tokens. We're so worried about your removal. Still attacking in. Not going to do anything about it. We're going to race a little bit. Oh, man. Of course, it has to come in tapped. How great is that? So, I think we'll take the opportunity... To refill our hand now. Okay. Okay. Now, next turn, we'll probably still just establish a board because they're going to start getting in range of being lethal very soon. And they know it. So, depending on if they make more tokens with their card here, uh, we may just throw down a Predatory and a Plated and sit back on defense for that buff. Ah, another Seeker. That's, that's sucky. That is sucky. Hmm. We're going to have a good board. 
but uh, we're definitely going to go on defense now. Hit me for four, I go to eight. Are they doing it now? Okay, they're doing it now. So they got two of these in their hand? Jeez. Alright, well we're taking eight now. Which is not a preposition to be in. Okay. Love to regain some life, but we are going to set that up for next turn. They're running out of time, too. I really don't want them to clock. I want to finish this game right. We got a nice defense. It's going to be hard for them to attack in. So if they don't, then we can start putting on our armadillo cloak. Good, good, good. Good, good. All of this is good. We can develop a board. And we can, oh man, uh, we'll just put it on one of our lords. And I'm going to attack in with him to regain some life here. Good. I like what we're doing here. Sure, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. There we go. There we go. Ah, we win. All right. They couldn't pull it through. I think they still had one more buff in their hand, but we had such a nice defense that they couldn't, couldn't get through it. Blossoming Sands, Forest. All right. Well, we have the Vines back up, so we could have done on done an alpha attack next turn and just uh pump the vines in one anyway so good game hopefully you guys enjoyed that was a fun one i haven't gone up against a, a token deck yet so that was pretty interesting i like how they kind of converted into a prowess deck here on uh game three uh i think they got scared of my gut shots and maybe took out their priest and said screw the one life taking damage creature thing plan and they just put in seeker and decided to just start going aggro and pumping the team so pretty interesting matchup uh leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to not miss any more slivers coming up the rest of the week we got some gruels wow can't speak got some gruels coming up on friday again and uh some more stuff during the week i think we're doing some more mono you mill again on arena so stay tuned for that and we will see you guys in the next video